most interesting plant-based and vegan lifestyles in Ocala, Florida. Mr. Mike Young, what got you started on putting together all these different veg packs? Well, actually it started about four years ago when the nonprofit came into existence at plantbasedive.org. And it actually is headquartered here in Silver Springs, Florida. Anybody know where Silver Springs is? Familiar? It's just east of here. And our headquarters is actually in the Ocala National Forest. I started the nonprofit then because I wanted to I guess meet vegan people because I turned vegan in 2014. I didn't know anybody, so our first initiative was to get on social media. And we have a group which is over here, veganocala.org. That was our first, or one of our first social media groups. It started with two people. And I think as of today, we've got like close to a thousand people in that group now. Very nice. A thousand people. Tell them about the group one more time if you all want to follow and like, subscribe, so that way you can get more plugged in with Mike Young's events. Okay, yeah, you'll see it on the side over here, the banner. It's veganocala.org. Veganocala.org is actually a Facebook group, and if you type that into any browser, it'll take you to our Facebook group because that send a point request. And basically what it is, is it's a local group about everything local and vegan in the Ocala area. So it's a, it's a group where you, everyone can participate, okay? Once you're a member, you see something out in a restaurant that's vegan, take a picture, make a video, share it. You have questions like, where can I get, uh, I don't know, who has the best vegan uh, dinner entree in Ocala? Ask it on the group. You will get lots of responses. It's a great way to, to build community locally. Sounds really good. If you are local here to Ocala, curious, how many of you are local here to Ocala? Make some noise. And if you're not in that group already, I hope that you'll go ahead and do that so you can stay plugged in. Mike, I want to ask, how long, what well, you said you were vegan, and back in 2014, you were what, 18 years old? <laughs> I'm actually 49 right now. Wow. I may look a little bit young, but uh, I attribute that to the vegan lifestyle. What got you on the vegan lifestyle at first? For me, it was 19 years ago when I turned 30. I was always, I'd say, a particular picky eater. I always actually was picky about the right thing, as it turns out. And nobody knew that way back when, decades ago, but I was. And unfortunately, though, I still ate animal products. Found out at age 30 my cholesterol was high, didn't understand it. Went on the internet, which was kind of new at the time, 19 years ago. Research it, realized it was the food. And it became pretty obvious. So I got rid of the first offenders, which happened to be on the animal products. I still had a few left because I wasn't vegan at the time. But I slowly became vegetarian after that. And then ultimately vegan in 2014 as, as you learn more. You know, you, you know better and you do better. Exactly. You know better and you do better. And you have been doing better. Help me share that message out there. Yes, exactly. Because I didn't, when I turned vegan in 2014, I literally did not know anyone else that was vegan. I did not know anyone personally. So I went on a mission. I was like, if this is true, which I believe it is, I need to get you. Because the word is not getting out. So that's the purpose of our nonprofit. Everything we do is just to get the word out. But we don't be a private club. We want to be open to everyone. We do these events that people can show up without any admission charge. Okay? Uh, obviously, we accept donations if you want to give us money, but we also don't want to form a barrier for people learning about this. Absolutely. Mike, I really appreciate it. Let's give a big round of applause for Mr. Mike Young. Show more appreciation for putting together this amazing event. And we're going to be right up in just